A family waiting and wondering when they can go home. Mom and dad, the kids age four, six, and nine, and their 63-year-old grandfather. The Pearson family forced to flee their homes in the middle of the night to get away from a raging wildfire. It was very stressful. We were all running around the house to collect our belongings. We tried to grab some food, clothes, medicine. They've been told their house is still standing, untouched by the flames, at least so far. It has been very dry and hot this year, so we knew something like these fires could happen. So I think the government was prepared to evacuate people before the fire started. The Pearson family is now among about 50 people living temporarily in this sports arena that has been converted into a shelter in the town of Roberval, 250 kilometers to the south of where the fires are burning. A few days ago, there were 400 evacuees here, but many have left to stay with friends or family. For the first time in several days, there seems to be some hope here in Quebec, and that's in part to the weather. A light rain is falling, helping to suppress the wildfires and bring down the smoke. At one point, over 130 fires were burning in Quebec, but local officials say they are finally starting to get many of them contained. That's good news for the Pearson family, as well as other evacuees. The first thing I will do when I go back home is check if everything is okay in my house. After that, I will see if my life can return back to normal, how it was before, and think about how to live life again. Now starting to think about returning home as soon as it's deemed safe. Although everyone here is aware that Canada's six-month-long fire season has only just gotten underway. Gabriel Ozando, Al Jazeera, Roberval, Quebec, Canada.